Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be adjusting two pairs of jeans two different ways because I am sick and tired of buying belts and also I added a needle and thread. So if you want to see how to get rid of the gap in the back of your pants and turn it into a more form-fitting situation, keep on watching. First, you're going to start with the measurement stage. So using two pins, I'm using wig pins, you're going to pinch and pin the gap that you don't want. So carefully hike those pants up as high as you want them to go and pinch and pin. Use a measuring tape and measure how many inches are across. So about four and a half inches. Take your jumbo elastic, take your pen, and I like to do a little bit shorter than the four and a half predicted. So this is a four and a half mark, and millimeter shorter than that. Okay. Now, once that's done, take your scissors. You're gonna cut just outside of that. And that is because when it expands and contracts, this part frays. So when you're sewing, this might fray and you wanna give some wiggle room. And this part here, I like to take a pen and do some, some markings just on the outside of where my pins are. And then you're gonna take your scissors and you don't wanna cut through, you just wanna cut into this gap here where there is a hole. So very carefully, and you can cut a little bit outside of this so you have some wiggle room. So I like to pinch both sides. See there's that pocket? So pinch both sides and grab your inner pocket. Take your fabric scissors and make a small cut. Just enough to make a hole. And then you're going to cut up. And down. So now you have a pocket. You're going to do the same to the other side. So now that that's done, you can pull these little pins out. I like to make sure there's no obstructions. Sometimes this loophole is sewn into the back, so you just want to double check, make sure that's not the case. If it was the case and it was sewn, you would just go in and cut like this, just on the inside of here. This elastic has to go in here, so you're probably thinking, well, how do I make sure it's in there? Give a little stretch. So you're gonna take your safety pin and your button, attach it to your safety pin. You want the more rib side to be on the outside, not facing your butt. So then you're just gonna start feeding in the elastic, feed, 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 which is about here. And I'm gonna pin, so you see the end of the elastic? It's gonna pin through so it holds there. See that? And you can see it on this side. But you'd still wanna pull through that button. Now that we've caught hold of it, it's naturally just gonna start ruching. That's good. So you're gonna pin through once, and so make sure it comes all the way out, and then pin it back once. There you go. So now you have all this like scrunchy bit and that's good because that's the part that's going to form to your body and on this end too. So because this end is more clean, I'm going to start sewing here. I'm going to sew on the inside of this pin. We're going to sew out till the end and try and stay in as straight a line as possible. Okay. And then we're going to sew in. Sew out. Once you're done your initial uh, stitches, 
just pull this bit out. See how it's stuck like that? So now what I like to do is sew kind of like a square here so it closes up. You're gonna take your needle, take your thread, the loose bit, and put your needle behind the thread and you're basically creating a loop like this. And you're gonna pull through gently. Gently at start, because you want it to be as close to the jeans as possible. So I like to use my nail and push down while pulling. So you have your first knot just here. If you can see it against my nail. I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna hold down the knot with my thumb and pull it tight and I cut. So that's one side done and I know it looks super messy right now so I like to clean up some of the thread. That's the part we tied down. So it looks like this. It looks very messy. It's very amateur hour. If you have a sewing machine I highly recommend using it. And this is what the back looks like. I personally don't care what the back looks like. Now we're just gonna do the other side. Congratulations, you've now reached the part of the video where I show you my butt and how well my jeans fit now. Here's the thing, if you don't like the ruching at the back and you know you like to tuck in your shirts or wear crop tops or whatever, here's how you fix that. Alright, so at this point you're going to be cutting four slits into your jeans on either side so you can add two tiny elastics on either side so you don't have a bunch of the ruching in the middle of your butt crack. Sometimes your fingers look slender, but they're actually not. You gotta use some tweezers. I call this the tweezer method. You pin either side of the elastic and sew as normal. So at this point, you're probably thinking, okay, I get it, but like, I wanna see the end result and this is the only reason why I'm watching. <laughs> you're welcome in advance because I added in the description box below timestamps so you can just skip ahead. You're welcome. Thank you so much for watching up until this point.
voila! This is how you make your jeans fit a little bit better. Would you try this method? Curious. Let me know in the comments below. And until then, bye! Okay, so I kind of... I messed up. I'm not gonna lie. Let's restart. No big deal. Whoops. Okay, there goes... There's the button. Just consider this troubleshooting. Let me move the needle. Let me move all this stuff. So I can feel it about here. So I'm going to go in with my tweezers. 